Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today is my final ride with the Triumph Bobber. I've had this bike before on loan from Triumph UK. They kindly gave me the Gold Line Edition. Which I immediately fell in love with. Uh, it was my first experience of riding on a single seater, on a Bobber style, long wheel based bike. And I just adored it. I had that for a week and it absolutely flew by and I didn't want to give it back. Triumph then got in contact with me recently um, to say, look, DJR was coming up. We'd love for you to be part of Team Triumph. I was completely chuffed. It was brilliant to actually be invited to, to take part in that. So they said, what do you want? I think the Thruxton and other bits and pieces were out of action uh, or on other loans. So I said, well, is, it, is, there, is there a bobber available? Um, it wasn't the gold line, but it was that. So they're standard bobber, but it comes in their sort of gray, black, matte tank and matte spec. I think it looks really good. Uh, honestly, do I say it? I'd probably actually get this over the gold line because I think the gold line edition is an extra thousand pounds or so, and it's a limited edition run. Limited edition run. But I'd rather use that money, that thousand pounds, to start changing some of the accessories on here, and and that's why I wanted to talk about today. So. I adore the bike, I adore this machine. Um, had some incredible rides of it over the last month, going down into the Surrey Hills and seeing friends and late night rides and popping home, seeing my, my parents where they live. So I've been in the saddle for at some points, maybe four or five hours of the day. And it's been extremely comfortable. I haven't had any problems. It's a 1200 CC engine. It has more than enough power and torque to get you out of any trouble and to get away from any danger and, and whilst having fun as well on the twisties. But my question is, as a stock bike, it does look great, but there's a lot that can also be changed in it. And I want to ask anyone out there, if you have one of these bikes, what changes have you made? Are they the changes that I'm about to mention now? Have they been good for you? Have they been a poor decision? Are there other things which you think would also be worthwhile changing? So for starters, there's the rear fender. Um, it does look really good, the rear fender, but at the same time, the light system on it, the, the rear brakes, the indicators are just obnoxiously large and don't look good and also the number plate is too large. So my question is to you is do you keep the rear fender and just do a tail tide in and then neaten up the lights and make them a lot smaller, a lot lower profile? Or do you get rid of the fender altogether as a lot of people have there for exposing the, the rear wheel and then you only really want to ride in the in the dry because in the rain you're just going to create a huge spout behind you and soak, soak your clothes behind you. Is, is that a reason enough to change it? Or would you, would you keep the fender on there and, and do the other bits and pieces? So that's the first thing. The next step is the indicators on the front. They look like lollipops, sort of sticking out either side, sticking out the forks. So realistically, again, I'd want to make them a lot lower profile. The handlebars, not a problem with them. Haven't got problems at all. They're, they're perfect, they're fine. Barry mirrors are great. I love it when bikes come with Barry mirrors rather than the stupid Mickey Mouse ears. After that, there is the tank. As I said, I adore the spec of this, this, this tank here. I think it looks superb. Um, I wouldn't need to change that or maybe further down the line, I'd want to put my own sort of twist on it and make it my own. But as it comes, it looks brilliant. The front fender is pretty long um, and I think it detracts from the beauty of this bike. So I'd want to shorten that as well. Then those front reflectors, they need to go. I know a lot of people do this and it's beautiful that you don't need to actually have those. They can pass an MOT without them. So they would need to go like, okay, it's safety, especially riding at night, but I think they would need to go. This one comes with the panniers. So each pannier can take up to five kilograms. I think that's just them protecting themselves and realistically you can probably take more than that, maybe 10 kilograms. Even when I popped home to see my family and came back, those panniers were full of wine and beer and alcohol, all kinds of alcohol. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, it's nice to know that you can, you can use them. So as it comes, I've mentioned that it's a 1200cc engine. Uh, it's a brutal piece of kit, brutal uh, inline twin um, or parallel twin, whatever you want to refer to it as. It's very talky, which is a lot of fun. But my, and, and generally just the exhaust as they come as stock, when you roll off the throttle, it's just popcorn mania, uh, if that even makes sense. You can leave them as stock, but I'd probably want to actually change them and put a different slip, slip on on or even a whole full system. 
I've seen a couple of people with Zard, they're always my go-to, and they're just brutal. So again, talking about that gold line edition earlier of the extra thousand pounds, I'd probably want to put that straight towards like a Zard exhaust. Other than that, I think the bike is pretty much perfect. And those are just cosmetic changes. There's nothing else you really need to do to it. But has anyone got a bike like that? Because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of bikes on Instagram, you know, the bobbers on Instagram, on YouTube, which have gone through these changes and they look phenomenal. There's even one chap who I know, who I follow, who has put clip-ons on the front fork. He's removed the uh, handlebars all together and put clip-ons. So it's proper like leaning over, leaning on the tank approach. And it looks phenomenal. The profile of the bike from every angle is just insane. But there, there's really some exciting things that you can do with these bikes. And I'd just be intrigued to know what you guys think and what you would do. Or would you just leave the bike as is um, and just have some fun with it and put the money to, to better use? But anyway, this has been my... I've lost count of how many bikes I've taken out of Triumph now, but once again, thank you so much Triumph UK for lending me the bike for so long and I've enjoyed everything so far. But this one really does tick all the boxes for me. So who knows, maybe one day there'll be a, a bobber in the British Motors Biker Stable. But um, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed this. Please leave your comments below. I look forward to chatting to you soon. All the best. Bye-bye.